Hello everyone. How are you guys? I hope you're doing well. So today in this video, I'll be talking about ACL, Access Control List. How does it work and why we use ACL? So normally we use ACL for the firewall purpose to block unknown traffic to get into your network. So we have two kind of ACL. One of that is standard and the other one is extended. The standard ACL we uh, we, we use to block the particular host and extended we use to use for blocking the specific protocol like IEP, ICMP, UDP, TCP or any port numbers. So just uh, remind just remind if you have to block any of the port number use extended but if we have to block any particular destination use the standard so standard uh, the standard <coughs> ACL we always apply nearest to the destination and extended always nearest to the source so I think that's clear with the destination and source that I will further talk about it on my video and it will be more you know clear what the destination and source means and standard we start from 1 to 99 and extend it from 100 to 199 so as you see in my display I have created a network and before you move into the ACL make sure you assign IP address to every routers every PC every serial ports and I have already did in this picture and also make sure that, that you use the routing protocol RIP or static it's up to you but make sure you use one of the routing protocol that every can talk so once you have finished doing the RIP now let get into the ACL okay so here what I will do is you see the cheat one PC here and the HTTP server here so what I will do is I will allow all the other PC for to to get into this HTTP server but I will block cheat one I don't I, I will not let cheat one to get into the server so first let's check whether everyone can get into the server or not then only we can block the cheat one okay first let's check so this is ip address of the server from pc Kathmandu, we are trying to get into the server. There you go, we can easily get into the server. And from here, let's check. Yeah, easily we can get into the server. Let's check from cheat one. So every PC can get the server. So now I will just block the cheat one. So you guys should know for HTTP server we use port number 80. So as I said in my earlier video, here we'll be blocking the HTTP. So we'll be using extended ACL and we always use the extended ACL to the router which is nearest to the source so here our source will be PC2 and our destination will be HTTP server so we'll be uh, configuring ACL in the router near to the source so let's begin with the configuration let's go to the CLI Mm -hmm. 
at least as I said extended this would be no oh, sorry one denying deny TCP post adjust deny sorry deny TCP the host as I said our source will be this PC 192.168.4.2 Our destination will be server p.2 equivalent at. And once we have finished with deny, then permit permit TCP host any any uh, sorry this oh sorry permit TCP any and that it now again I, as I said earlier we always use XL into the interface so mm, okay Get it. so Ethernet zero zero will be our in interface from where we the data of the server gets in and one twelve and serial two slash one will be our of interface. So mm, I will uh, use ACL in the out interface. It's up to you. You can use wherever you like, but it's better to use in out port. So I'll be using in serial two slash one. Mm -hmm. Sorry, two slash slash one IP group one zero one. So that's it. This will be out. And then let's check whether we can build the server or not do I not do that now as you can see now you can't get into the server so it's request time out so you can get into the server so it's request time out and let's check from the PC one Yeah, you can get in the server so yeah that works 